Hey guys, Steve Harris here with MuseThemes.com. Today we're going to look at this message that you've probably seen before. It says some files on the server may be missing or incorrect. This is a screen cap from a support ticket that somebody just recently sent us here. So this issue can be easily fixed by changing one little file on your computer. You don't need any widgets or anything like that. You can suppress it within 10 seconds by following these steps. So what we're going to do is navigate to a certain folder on the computer and edit a little file. And this is with it, the Muse folder on your drive itself. So the path to these files is right here. It's different depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC. I'm on a Mac right now, so let's navigate to it on my Mac. So let's open our Finder window. Then we're going to go into our hard drive. We go Users, the username, Library, Preferences, Adobe, Adobe Muse CC, then we need to go in and pick the version number we're working with. Now, one thing that's very important is you want to make sure that Muse is closed while you make this change because we want the application to restart using these new settings. So I've just confirmed here that Muse is indeed closed and I'm still using 2017.0. So let's open that folder. Within that folder, you'll see at the top a file called apprefs.xml. Let's open that with any text editor. So we can just go text edit, for example. Okay, and now I'm going to zoom in on that file a little bit. So it looks like there's some code here, but it's only about 10 lines. And you can see there's really three things being controlled. There's minify CSS, minify JS, and suppress missing files error. Right now that's set to false. You'll see right here it says false. Highlight false and type true. Maintain that slash there, and then hit file and save. So you've changed this now so that any site that Muse boots up and exports, it's going to suppress that missing files there and you will never see it again. Now, of course, again, the path is going to be slightly different on a PC, but once you get in there, it's the same file, the apprefs.xml file, and it can be opened up with any standard text editor. Thanks again for watching, and I hope this saved you some hassle with that missing files there. Cheers.